Are you offering prospects what they can get without you and then wondering why your offers aren't working? I'm James McDonald with another contribution for Agent Inner Circle. And at Agent Lead to Close, we focus on lead conversion training strategies and skills to improve your leads to face-to-face -face appointments. And one of the big ones is the offers that you're making. Now, if the offer that you're making is an offer that the prospect can get without you, then we can't very well be surprised when the prospect pushes back on our offer and doesn't seem all that jazzed about taking you up on it. So what we want to do to combat that is always be thinking, when I make my prospect an offer, particularly as it pertains to a conversation to do with lead conversion, converting that, that prospect into ultimately an appointment and a client, is the offer I'm making them something so valuable that they couldn't get it anywhere else other than from me? That's really what we're looking at right here. Okay, now let me share a couple of examples. So if I was speaking to a buyer prospect and I said, would you like me to show you properties that are for sale that match what you're looking for? I might be thinking, ooh, that's, that's a great offer. But the problem is there's this little thing called the internet and consumers can go on the internet anytime they want. And they can find properties day and night. They can search, they can filter, they can look up by price, they can look at properties in any and every different marketplace. They can find anything and everything on the internet. So me saying, hey, I can provide you with properties, would that be helpful? We might think that sounds like a good offer and perhaps at one point in history it was, but not anymore. What we want to do is we want to offer what the prospect can't get on their own and that makes it a lot more valuable. So without getting into the details of exactly how you're going to go about doing this, which isn't difficult, what if we were to say this? Would it be valuable if I could alert you to properties before they got to the internet so you could beat out other buyers? And would it also be valuable if I could actually alert you to properties that aren't even for sale to the open public. They're not, these are not properties that are listed on the MLS that are not currently for sale. These are properties that might be coming soon or might not be available to the general public at all. If they match exactly what you're looking for, would you be interested in being alerted to those kinds of properties? Okay, now, what I want you to focus on is if you were a buyer and I made you that offer, would you consider that valuable? And if so, why? Let me help you because what I'm offering you, you can't get anywhere else. That's the difference. The litmus test of your offers is, can I get what's being offered without you? And if the answer is yes, well, then your offer isn't very solid. Let's go on to the seller side. Would you like an evaluation of your home? I can tell you what it's worth. Ooh, there was many decades when that was a great offer. The problem now is, there's this thing called a Zestimate or any number of websites that I can go on to and it'll share with me based on algorithms of what my house would likely sell for, what it's worth, whether that's fictional or not, accurate or not. Um, yeah, we've all got opinions on that, sometimes not so much. But the fact of the matter is the offer in and itself, would you like to know the value of your home, isn't a valuable offer. Why? Because the prospect can get that information without us. So what if we were able to say, would you be interested in learning specifically what you could do to make your home worth more money that wouldn't cost you a lot of money in order to achieve? The least expensive things that you could do in this particular marketplace right now that would cause your home to be worth a whole lot more than what it would be worth today. By taking a look at your home, I could do that. Okay, now, see what we've done here? We've made them an offer, and if you're thinking, yeah, that sounds like a really good offer, the reason is because I'm offering something that they couldn't get themselves, and that is going to be the key here. So, are there other examples of this? Oh, my God. There are, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of different offers, just like the ones that I've demonstrated, that all hold that common thread, which is, 
I'm offering you what you cannot get without me. That's what makes it a valuable offer. Not what the overwhelming majority of agents do, which you might be doing mistakenly right now, which is offering prospects, making an offer where the prospect can already get it on their own. So they're declining your offer and you're confusing that declining your offer as lack of motivation or interest. Whereas the truth is, many of these prospects are absolutely going to be moving. But the only way that we can insert ourselves in that transaction, involve ourselves in that transaction, is we've got to make them a really good offer whereby the value is attached to us, not something they can get on their own. Now, there's a lot more where this came from. And as a subscriber of Agent Inner Circle, you know that every week we have lots and lots of contributions and great tips like this. So make sure if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to Agent Inner Circle and make sure you're going there every uh, on a regular basis every week to check all of these great tips. Also, I'm with Agent Lead to Close. So if you want more specific detailed training on lead conversion and these soft skills, these communication skills, this can be learned. We, we've been teaching this for decades at Agent Lead to Close, working with you on what to do and what to say to better convert the very leads that you're either buying, generating, being, being provided, your sphere of influence, et cetera, et cetera. You owe it to your business to do as good a job with the lead conversion as you do with the lead generation in the first place. So my name is James McDonald. Great pleasure to contribute to Agent Inner Circle, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks so much.